Hello Heroes of Overwatch, my name is Tide, and with Blizzard's final announcement of there being 21 heroes in Overwatch, we're going to go ahead and look at some of these per week, and I'm going to give you guys a full overview on that character. Now, this week we're going to be looking at the Omnic Monk Zenyatta. True self is without form. Zenyatta is a hyper-offensive support character with a hell of a lot of utility. He has very little mobility, but that's not to make up for all the damage you can put out. Now the first thing we're going to be going over is all four of his abilities and how we can use them to maximize your gameplay. First we're going to start with Orb of Destruction. This is Zenyatta's primary fire. He uh, kind of does some karate moves and shoots out these little orbs. Now these orbs have very good range and very good accuracy. Their damage is pretty moderate and when you right click you hold it down he charges up his orbs and shoots about five I think at most. He's got 20 in total and reloads at a pretty decent rate compared to some other characters. This makes Zenyatta great at being able to pick off enemies from a distance and being able to keep up damage while in a team fight. Now Zenyatta does not have to switch around any weapons like Mercy does to be able to heal and to be able to do damage. So this makes him very useful, very strong. You want to make sure you do watch your health though, but we're going to get into that in a sec. The next move we're going to be talking about is Orb of Harmony. Now this is Zenyatta's primary healing move, currently his left shift ability. Now you can toss this on any ally from a pretty great distance, it has great range. It is a healing over time ability though, so you can't expect immediate results from it. They do have to slowly benefit over time. Only one ally can benefit from this ability at a time, so you can't throw it on your whole team. You can just throw it at the one target that you want to make sure you keep alive. It's great for team fights. it's great for uh, supporting one person, it makes you a great pocket healer. Now, this move, despite using an orb, doesn't actually cost any ammo. So, he throws his orb out, but your ammo remains the same. You don't have to reload, you don't have to worry about actually losing any of your offensive pressure when casting this move. The next move we're going to talk about is Orb of Discord. Now, this is Zenyatta's primary utility attack. It's his E. You throw an orb onto an enemy and it increases all damage they take by 50%. Now, this move has an incredible range, and it's very, very good at picking off... Uh, high health targets. It also marks the enemy so you can see where they are through walls or if they're hiding behind something. It's great to mark Hanzos or Widowmakers. That way you can protect yourself from dying. They will kill you very fast because of your low HP. Like Harmony, Orb of Discord can only be cast on one target at a time and does not cost any actual ammo to use. Lastly is the Nyata's ult. It's called Transcendence, and it allows him to transcend above all badassery, giving him a humongous uh, field around him, healing everybody in that field, and preventing him from taking any damage. Now, Zenyatta cannot be killed while in this state, his allies, however, can, and he heals everybody within that proximity. Zenyatta's ult can be a game changer. It allows him to hold points, keep points, or even push points if everybody can hoard around him quick enough. So for a quick pros and cons, we're going to go over the pros first. Now, Zenyatta's pros are definitely that he's hyper-offensive, he's very, very strong. Alone, he does a lot of damage. If you E somebody and you just start auto-attacking, or you E someone, hide behind a wall, and charge your right-click, come out, and just shoot all five of your orbs, you're going to be killing people. They do a lot of damage, and he can apply some amazing pressure. Now, he also has a good amount of healing. He can heal some pretty big numbers. I wouldn't say he's as strong as Mercy when it comes to healing, but he can definitely hold the team together. His ult makes him very useful at defense and offense. However, if you're playing him as defense, you may not want to use him as your main support. You may want to use him as like an off support or a uh, just a pressure character. Because of his long range with his E and his auto attack, he can definitely pick off targets from very far away. Some downsides to Zenyatta, he does not have any mobility. He only moves as fast as he can regularly run, which isn't even that great at all. Zenyatta has very little HP. He only has 150, this makes him only as healthy as Tracer is, and this is a very big crutch in this character. Because unlike Tracer, who has such low HP, she can actually blink and teleport and reverse herself away from the fights. Zenyatta, if you turn the wrong corner and you get shot once, you're pretty much dead. You'll be on Widowmaker's kill list very quickly. You do not have any kind of survivability. However, there is a pro to this con. 100 of your health is shields. Shields charge over time, 
and this allows you to regain a lot of your health back without actually having to be healed. In the end, Zenyatta is an amazing support. He has a lot of pressure, a lot of team play with his ults. He's very great at taking points and capturing points or, or holding down points. And he makes very quick work of long range characters with his, his ease and his left clicks just to make sure that you actually are able to highlight that target and avoid being hit by them. I've actually been able to put my E over on Widowmakers or on Hanzos and watch myself to not get sniped or to not get killed easily because again Zenyatta very, has very very little HP. Lastly I'm going to show you guys a couple quick scenes of me playing Zenyatta. Hope you guys enjoy. Thank you for watching. If you guys want to see more Overwatch stuff, go ahead and give me a subscribe, a comment, and I will do my best to put out these overviews every week until I get all 21 characters done. So, hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video, and have a good one. What do you do? I hear that shit's not reacting.